Well, if you want to understand leftism in the modern age, and by extension, our culture, you need to first understand what I call the victim hierarchy. If you understand the victim hierarchy, you understand everything. And, uh, and so you need to understand how it works. So we're going to run through it today, this kind of tutorial, which will tell you everything you need to know about uh, leftism and about our culture by extension. Now, the victim hierarchy is a pyramid. You can also call it the victim pyramid, VH or VP, it's up to you. At the base of the pyramid, you have white men. That's the lowest ranking. They cannot be victimized by anyone, and yet they victimize everyone else. We have to understand that victimization flows up on the pyramid, so it's a little counterintuitive. The higher you are on the pyramid, the more victimized you are, and yet the more powerful you are. Now next you have white women, which, and they're still pretty low on the ranking, but they can at least be victimized by white men. So they have one victim point. Victim points are determined by how many other groups can victimize you. So you can tally a group's victim points simply by counting how many groups are underneath them on the pyramid. It makes it very easy to do. Now flowing up from there, uh, right above white women, we have disabled people. Now this is a large category, and uh, it's in fact getting larger by the day because what counts as a disability keeps expanding by the day. But of course, you know, there are just like the classic disabilities we all recognize, blind, deaf, wheelchair bound, etc. And these are gonna kind of be the anchor points for the disabled category of the victim pyramid. Now these people are group three, and so they are automatically victimized by the two groups below them, which gives them two victim points. Next, and this gets a little confusing, uh, we have fat people, the obese. Sometimes obesity is counted as a disability, Sometimes it isn't, but the group is large enough, no pun intended, that it needs its own category. And the plus size community has been sort of climbing the hierarchy in recent years, which has been a really good exercise for them. Now the obese have three categories below them, which means that they have three victim points. Now we get to the part where the rubber meets the road. What is called our premium victim categories, PVC. Now at this stage, every victim point is multiplied by two. There is a times two bonus for getting to this point on the victim pyramid. I'll show you how it works. The first group in the premium category are black men. <laughs> now for the purpose of this demonstration, in order to keep things as simple as possible, black will include all racial minorities. Of course, in reality, there's a separate victim ranking of racial minorities that tends to change rapidly over time as different groups vie for greater victim status. For right now, we're all gonna include them uh, as uh, under the black category, or we could just say people of color. Now, black men, therefore, have four victim points times the premium victim bonus, which makes eight points. What's next? Obviously, next would be black women, who are victimized by black men, fat people, disabled people, white women, and white men. Those are all of the victimization flows up through those groups, and black women are, uh, are, are getting all of that. And this gives them a gross of five victim points, but a net of 10 when you add the premium victim bonus. Gays, lesbians, and other non-hetero uh, sexual orientations fall just above black women. They are victimized by an impressive tally of six other groups. And then our premium victim bonus kicks in, and what do you get? You get 12 victim points, and that is where the LGB land on the pyramid. But of course, I have not mentioned the T. Oh, hey girl, get over here. Let's talk some shit. That's because the T sits at the top, the very top of the pyramid. Nobody can out-victim the T. The victims who are the victims of all other victims, they stand at the pinnacle of the victim hierarchy, which means that they are the most victimized, which means that, that they have the most victim points, and therefore the most power. And here we introduce what is called the apex victim multiplier, AVM. Whatever group sits at the top, the apex victim, earns their seven victim points, but then they also earn a multiple of 10, which means that trans people have not seven or even 14 victim points, but they have 70. Well, no one's gonna top that. Here's where things get tricky. What about the crossover in groups? A fat woman is below a black woman on the hierarchy, but what about a fat black woman? Where does she rank? How do we make sense of a gay, black, fat, deaf man in a wheelchair? Is he above black women on the pyramid, or is he still below? Can a white woman leapfrog over black men and black women if she's also a member of some of these other categories? Is there anything that a white man like myself can do to get out from the bottom of this whole heap? How do we sort through this? It seems sort of overwhelming. Well, don't worry, it's not as difficult as it seems at first. Following the intersectional victim calculus, IVC, all you have to do is add the total points of every group a person belongs to. So let's do the math. Let's say that a white woman, very low ranking member of the victim hierarchy, is also disabled and fat and bisexual. Well, now she has her one victim point, plus two for disabled, three for fat, and 12 for bisexual. Now she has 18 total victim points, which puts her comfortably above a normal non-gay, non-fat, non-disabled black man or woman. Now there's one important note here. You cannot cash in multiple times in the disabled category. What? So if you are blind and also in a wheelchair, that's only two victim points. Those are the rules. I'm not saying I agree with them. It's just how it goes. Forgive me, master. You may have noticed that because of the apex victim multiplier, no non-trans person can get anywhere close to the trans victim point tally. 
trans will always remain the top victim, which means that even that, that, that lowly white man all the way at the bottom with his zero victim points, even he can easily rocket all the way to the top just by coming out as trans. A black man who has done a lot of work to become fat and gay and everything else, who has secured a position in four or five other categories, will still have to bow before the white man as the top victim if he, the white man, simply identifies as a woman. Now, let's say the black man comes out as a, as a woman. Well, then he, once again, is going to be above the white man in the trans tier. Although trans is at the top, that category is itself subdivided depending on the race, weight, disability status, etc., of any individual trans person. This does get confusing though, because the trans victim subdivisions follow the same logic as the overall victim pyramid, except that trans women who are actually male slide in above trans men who are actually female. On the broader pyramid, being female buys you points, right? But once you make it into the top echelon, the trans tier, being female makes you male, which subtracts your points. So a black woman who comes out as trans will now be below a black man who comes out as trans as the sexes have switched. What this means is that if you want to build the uber ultimate unbeatable victim, the emperor of the whole victim pyramid, you need to start with a black man. That's gonna be the best canvas upon which you can paint the ultimate victim. With that building block, you can assemble a victim who is more victimized than any other victim. So if you are therefore a straight black man of average weight and physical capability, you may only have a few victim points, but if you dream big enough, and put in the work, you could be the greatest victim of all. Remember, I didn't make these rules. I'm only here to tell you what they are. And well, there they are. We've known your fear taste just like bum bum for a while. A silver lining is less taste, but I'm now defiled, oh no.